Hi everybody and welcome back to Baby Toddler Storytime. So this is our very last Baby Toddler Storytime of October and this is the last time that I am going to be leading Baby Toddler, toddler Storytime for you guys. So I hope you have a lot of fun today. Let's go ahead and put our hands up. We're going to sing our opening song, Open Shut Them. And the song goes like this. Open shut them. Open shut them. Give a little clap, clap open shut them open shut them put them in your lap 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 creep them crawl them creep them crawl them right up to your chin 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 open wide your little mouth but do not let them in very good job, you guys. We are gonna go ahead and move into our next song. I need you guys to give me a thumbs up. Very good. Then go ahead and hide your thumbs behind your back, okay? This song is called, Where is Thumpkin? You guys ready? Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Let's do that one more time. Where is Thumpkin? Where is Thumpkin? Here I am, here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away, run away. Very good, everybody. The next song we're going to sing before we read our first story is called If You're Happy and You Know It. And in this version of If You're Happy and You Know It, we are just going to start by clapping our hands. And that's going to be the only verse we sing today. Okay, you guys ready? Here we go. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Very good, everybody. So um, if you guys are standing up, go ahead and sit down for me. I just really quickly want to talk to the adults in the room. Hello, adults. Welcome back. Thank you again for being here. Um, we are going to talk a little bit about vocabulary today. So vocabulary in books is typically a lot richer than the vocabulary of everyday conversations. Um, so reading books together is an excellent way to expand your little one's vocabulary. Um, it also is an excellent way to generate conversation between the two of you. So um, little ones like to ask why, they like to ask what, they like to ask who, all of those W questions. Um, so reading together is a great way to just um, sit down and talk with your little ones. Um, learn some new words with them, um, explain some things. It's just a really great opportunity. And plus you get to explore so much when you guys are reading. So just have fun and enjoy that opportunity to share with your little ones. Okay, <clears throat> we are going to read a book today that's called Snakes on the Job. And it's by Katherine Dennis. And look at all these adorable little snakes. I'm gonna open this book up. Snakes on the Job by Katherine Dennis. Off to work, the snakes will go. They slide into trucks and roll out slow. And look at all of these different kinds of trucks. Oh my goodness. Psst goes the sound of the brakes. A digger clears the way as a bulldozer shoves the dirt to one side digger and a bulldozer. Dump trucks are piled high. Hiss goes the sound of the brakes. A row of delivery trucks keep snakes moving at a steady pace. They say, playtime, playtime. A crane lifts large objects and swings them into place. Psst goes the sound of the brakes. A food truck arrives and the snakes line up for lunch. Yum! Then it's back to work. There's a time crunch. 
means they have to go fast. A front loader rumbles in. Holes are dug and flowers fill wheelbarrows. Hiss goes the sound of the brakes. It takes three snakes to roll a giant wheel into place. Snakes work together to reach their goal. A backhoe is needed to put in posts. The project is coming to a close. Hiss goes the sound of the brakes. It's time to see what the snakes have built. Hiss go the happy snakes. What did they build? They built a playground at a park. Hamsters ask if they can play. What will the snakes say? Welcome! Yes! And that is the end of our first story. So we are going to go ahead and stand up together. We're going to do an action song. So we are going to sing the song Head, Shoulders, Knees, and Toes. So we're going to start by touching our head, then touch our shoulders, then touch your knees, and then reach all the way down and touch your toes. Very good. Let's do that all together. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Perfect. Let's do that one more time. Get some of those wiggles out. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees, and toes, knees, and toes. Very good, everybody. We are going to go ahead and sing another song. We just saw some snakes in the first book that we read. And now I have another animal song for you. So I have, oops, got these all messed up. Here we go. I have a couple of barns for you guys. I have one, two, three barns for you guys. One of them is brown, one of them is blue, and one of them is red. And there are three different animals hiding behind these barns. And we need to sing Old MacDonald to see if we can find out who is hiding where. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with this brown barn and we're gonna sing Old MacDonald. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a, <gasps> what is that? It's a kitty cat, E-I-E-I-O, with a meow meow here and a meow meow there, here a meow, there a meow, everywhere a meow meow, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Very good, everybody. Let's go ahead and sing and see who's behind our blue barn, ready? Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had a, a sheep. E-I-E-I-O, with a ba ba here and a ba ba there. Here a ba, there a ba, everywhere a ba ba. Old MacDonald had a farm. E-I-E-I-O. There's one barn left and it's the red barn. Let's see who's hiding behind it. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on that farm he had a, a chicken, E-I-E-I-O. With a buck buck here and a buck buck there. Here a buck, there a buck, everywhere a buck buck. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Very good, everybody. Let's go ahead and say goodbye to our farm animals for today. Thanks so much for coming out to play with us. 
Now we are going to sing a song that we learned last week. It's called Dance Your Fingers Up. So we're gonna put our fingers up like this. The song goes like this. Dance your fingers up and dance your fingers down. Dance your fingers to the side and dance them all around. Dance them on your shoulders, dance them on your head, dance them on your tummy and put them all to bed. Very good, everyone. So we are gonna go ahead and read our next book. This one is called What's On My Head by Margaret Miller. And there is a baby here and there's something on this baby's head. What is it? It looks like a hat. This baby has a fancy hat. Look at her beautiful hat. This baby has a puppy dog on their head. That's kind of silly. Ooh, this baby's wearing a fire hat. Look at that. This baby has a froggy on their head. That is silly. This baby has a pretty bow. It's a pretty pink bow on their head. This baby has a rubber ducky, a yellow rubber ducky on their head. And that is the end of our story. These books are really great. These are board books. Um, these are great ones for your little ones to actually hold in their hand. Um, there is such a small amount of text on the page that you guys can really talk about the different pictures um, and really start to work on letter recognition. Even though they're short and simple, these are great for your little ones right now because it really keeps their attention. All right, you guys. So now I'm gonna have you guys pause the video and go and grab a scarf, whether it is a scarf like mine right here, or you can even use a clean dish towel. Um, all you need is a piece of fabric to wave around for our next two songs. So go ahead and pause the video, go snag it, and then come right back. Welcome back, everybody. So we're gonna sing the same songs that we learned last week, which is Popcorn Kernels being the first one. So we're gonna go ahead and wave our scarf like this, and Popcorn Kernels goes like this. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. There he goes, do that one more time. Popcorn kernels, popcorn kernels, in the pot, in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, till they pop, till they pop. Very good, everybody. Now we're gonna sing a song called Rain on the Grass. So go and get your scarf ready. It's gonna start like this. Rain on the grass, rain on the trees, rain on the roof, but not on me. All right, so we did rain, now we're gonna do snow. Snow on the grass, snow on the trees, snow on the roof, but not on me. Very good, we just have one more, it's leaves on the grass, and we're seeing a lot of that recently. Ready? Leaves on the grass, leaves on the trees, leaves on the roof, but not on me. Very good, let's go ahead and put our scarf to the side or in our lap because we need both of our hands to sing our goodbye song. So our goodbye song is open, shut them, but instead of creeping and crawling our hands up to our chin, we're gonna wave our hands. You guys ready? Here we go. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them. Put them in your lap, lap, lap. Wave them, wave them, wave them, wave them. High up in the sky, sky, sky. Wave to me, I'll wave to you. Now let's all say goodbye. 
wonderful, you guys. This will be my very last story time with all of you. Um, our next story times are going to be presented by our new youth services coordinator. So I hope you guys have a wonderful time meeting them. I know they're going to be fantastic. Um, but in the meantime, I'll miss all of you guys and you guys take really good care. Okay. Bye.